Welcome to your Gone Market Event Charts of the Day for today, the 4th of January 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gone Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news wires, of course, we saw more cautious than expected Fed minutes spook the markets. This sent bond yields higher and the USD and stocks lower overnight. Again, the Russell and the Nasdaq, not surprisingly, as they often do in this situation, were both weaker than other indices. US futures, however, are slightly higher in Asian trading. Uh, Asian markets are following that weak US lead. ASX is soft again and down 0.3%, which is significantly off the lows. It was down around 0.6% immediately after open. We're seeing energy outperform on the back of a spike in oil price. And materials have moved into positive territory for the day. European futures are pointing to a lower open at this stage, but again, slightly better than they were on Asian Open. The US dollar index continues to bounce off of those five-month lows, responding positively to that rise in bond yields. And of course, consequently, we saw gold pull back again overnight to below 2030, but paired losses towards the back end of the US session and moved back up towards 2050. And so it is slightly higher in Asian trading at this stage. Copper dropped and then recovered to close neutral for the day and oil bounced higher, as we've already referenced recovering the previous two days of losses on increasing concerns of Middle East conflict escalation and a shutdown of a Libyan oil field. Bitcoin was very choppy yesterday. The 10% swing from top to bottom closed down around $3,000, but off the lows of the day significantly. So really failed to hold that move over 45000 Be interesting to see where that goes next. Lots of data for the markets to digest today. We've got Global Services PMI. We've got the German inflation number. And this evening, we have US weekly and ADP jobs numbers, the latter being pushed back from its usual Wednesday because of the shortened week. And then, of course, we've got non-farm payrolls and Eurozone CPI tomorrow, both of which will be of great interest to markets. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, Jan Cole are looking interesting, ticker code YAL on the ASX, as we've said, energy stocks doing well. We've got a breach of the 200 MA a couple of trading sessions ago. We're seeing a move up towards this critical 535 level, which you can see was previous resistance had one day 4A over that, and it was support back through early 2023. So a breach of this level would be technically interesting. A possible move up maybe in the medium term to test around this 575 level, which would be about 7% return. So one to keep an eye on, uh, but worthwhile being patient to see if we get a breach of that key level. Some interesting action on the GB pound Aussie. The Aussie was weak yesterday. You can see there, very strong day for the GB pound against the Aussie. We've had this pause, which looks like an ascending triangle on the hourly chart. Uh, and you can see there we're, Pressing hard against yesterday's closing high on the hourly bars. Uh, that could be of interest. If we just pull it back to the four hourly chart, you can see the importance of this level at 188.30, as it was support around the 18th of December, and likewise again the week before that. So a push through this level could see us move up, maybe in the first instance to around about 189. Uh, so around about a 70 pip move is potentially on the cards if we get a breach. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.